Have you ever wondered what goes through a man's mind right before he's about to cheat? Well, in today's video, we're gonna talk about seven signs that men give right before they cheat that most women miss. Everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Keeping It Real with Keandra. I am your host, licensed marriage and family therapist, Keandra Jackson. Now this one is a little bit juicy because when we talk about cheating, we often talk about the act of cheating or the consequences of the cheating, but we rarely talk about what happens before the act. And while there's so many different forms of cheating that I have talked to you guys about before, emotional, spiritual, financial, sexual, we are specifically going to be talking about cheating, cheating. That means some type of physical or sexual contact with somebody you shouldn't be doing something with. But before we get started, you know I love having conversations with you guys, but put in the chat box, have you ever been cheated on? And if the answer is yes, don't feel shameful about that because I've been cheated on too and trust and believe you're probably not alone. So let's get into the first sign that a man will give before he cheats. The first one is emotional distance. When we think about men, we often think about them being very sexual or physical beings, and we also equate emotions with women. But men have emotions too, and we need to realize that. But one thing that I noticed about men is that right before they're about to cheat and do something that they're not supposed to do, they also will become emotionally detached. And what this looks like for them is less engaged conversation, they may seem to be distracted, or to be honest, they actually will start to withhold and withdraw physical affection from you and not do the things that they used to do. The second sign that you might miss right before a man is about to cheat is that he will switch up and change his routine. This is a top secret right here. I want you to pay close attention to his routine. Is he staying at work later? Is he going out more frequently with his friends? Is he going to the gym late at night? Think about all of the shifts and changes and things that he's doing now that he didn't used to do before. Uh, that could be an indicator that bruh is about to step out on you. Now y'all know I love to keep things spicy and switching up a routine is actually a really great quality to have in a dating situation or a relationship or marriage. But I'm just gonna say it's worth questioning and exploring if he starts to pick up all of these new hobbies all of a sudden and wanna do things that he didn't wanna do before. Red flag. Red flag. The third sign that a man will give right before he's about to cheat is a lack of interest in future planning with you. Typically, if someone wants to be with you and wants to be with you long-term, they're planning things, events, and situations that you will be included in. Whether that's actually getting engaged, getting married, buying a home, getting a pet together, something that is going to be helping y'all stay together. <laughs> that's typically what this looks like. So trust and believe that if he is not trying to be with you long-term, things are gonna be very short. He's not gonna be inviting you to things. There isn't going to be some type of talk about the future. It's just gonna be real different. And so I want you to pay close attention to this one because what is really important is making sure that a man plans and includes you in his future plans, whether that's next week, uh, six months from now, or even a few years from now. If you're not in that plan, oh, <laughs> Something to think about and consider. The fourth sign that a man will give right before he's about to cheat that you probably have missed is that he will change his appearance. You know when somebody new comes on the scene, you wanna look all good and you know, smell all good and do all of the things that he wouldn't normally do, start working out and all. It's like, hold on, bruh. You wasn't doing all of this before. Where is this energy coming from? The correct answer is the energy is coming from the fact that he's trying to impress somebody else and that person is not you. It reminds me of that one Tyler Perry movie. I think it's like, why did I get married? Where uh, the wife, Tyler Perry's wife in that movie started, you know, dressing nice and wearing lingerie and certain types of underwear underneath her clothes before she would go to work and all of that stuff. And it turned out that sis had a whole work husband it's giving that vibe. When you see things switching up, ooh, especially in the appearance, that tells you everything. If he never wears cologne, if he rarely gets his hair cut, his facial hair or a beard, if he doesn't keep those things together, but now all of a sudden he's starting to care about those things, I'm not saying that's a for sure thing that he's cheating, but it is something to talk about, explore, and pay a little bit more attention to. The fifth sign that a man will give right before they are about to cheat is, I'm just gonna say it like this, it's going to be a gut feeling. 
I've talked about this in some of my other videos and some of y'all may or may not understand, but we all have that intuition. We all have that gut feeling. For me, it's the spirit that tells you when things are off, okay? If you really tap in and feel in the way that you're supposed to be feeling and doing what you're supposed to be doing, you can easily pick up on things when they shift, when they change and they differ. So if you think somebody's cheating, and you have real good evidence, basically like some of the things that I've already talked about on top of that gut feeling, I don't want you to ignore that. That's something to lean into a little bit. That's something to explore. There's something to have conversations about. There's something to keep your eyes and observe a little bit deeper because nine times out of 10, this indicator all up in here <laughs> is typically correct. The sixth sign that a man will give right before he's about to cheat is less intimacy. We already talked about how men are more sexual and physical beings. So they want what they want when they want. So if you are a person that is having sex with your partner, um, your spouse or even someone that you're dating and that starts to be less and less over time, he might be getting it from somebody else. I know that was a little harsh for some of y'all, but it's true. Think about the dwindling down of all of the kisses and the hugs and the intimate moments and the cuddles and the feet rubs and the butt slaps. <laughs> you know how some men like to grab the butt. Okay, anywho, what if there is a dwindling down of those things? And he used to do all of those in the beginning and he used to love it. And now that doesn't exist or it doesn't exist on the level that you want it to be. He could be doing that with somebody else. And number seven, the last sign that a man will give right before he's about to cheat is a disinterest in resolving conflict. When you don't care about a relationship and you don't care about somebody and you're putting time and energy into somebody else, you are not going to have the level of care and concern that you normally would to resolve conflict. So if there's discord, if there's arguments, if it's, oh, you didn't clean up the kitchen today, if it's, oh, you didn't call me enough this week, whatever that is, they're no longer trying to get to a happy medium and to try to please you and to get to a space where you guys don't want accord. They're basically like, it's whatever. I don't really care anymore. And it isn't because they don't necessarily like you anymore. It just means that there's somebody else that has entered the chat or is about to enter the chat and that's where they're putting their focus on. So important topics, them long conversations, all of those things that you guys used to do to try to get on the same page, they will cease to exist. So let me give my final thoughts on this. I want to share that the things that I listed in this video isn't gun ho isn't a hundred percent. It isn't something that's like, whoop, Keandra said this, so it must be happening. There's varying degrees and I want you to observe, pay a little bit more attention. If you see a combination of the things that we talked about in this video, if you see one all that happens every now, oh, okay, it may not be cheating, but if you see all seven of these, <laughs> Red flag again, but I want you to understand and know that your worth and your value is not predicated on if somebody wants you or if they cheated on you or whatever the case may be. Your value does not diminish just because someone steps out on you. And yes, it is cheating. If you choose to give someone time, energy, money, resources, or sex outside of your partnership in the current situation that you are in. And that goes back to what I was saying, whether that is financially, spiritually, emotionally, mentally, sexually, whatever, those are all different forms of cheating that we have to pay close attention to. And you know we are big on effective two-way communication on this channel, so I wanna encourage people, even though it's not as common as it should be, if you no longer want to be in a relationship with somebody, just break up with them. Don't be out here lacking integrity, cheating, sneaking, changing up, doing all the things that we talked about in this video when you literally could just end the relationship and go and pursue the other person that you want to be with. But people are selfish. They want to have their cake and eat it too, and that's not okay. So thank you so much for watching another episode of Keeping It Real with Keandra. I will see you next time. Be blessed. Bye.